Hi guys, welcome. My name is Kyla Ward. For my topic speech, I chose global warming. Um, the first thing I'll be starting out with is a quote by Al Gore. It reads, the warnings about global warming have been extremely clear for a long time. We are facing a global climate crisis. It is deepening. We are entering a period of consequences. So this means, you know, our past decisions that humans have made in the last few decades with the industrial period and everything like that has really affected the earth and it's really starting to show. Uh, so what is global warming? Global warming is the long-term effect of Earth's climate system observed since the pre-industrial period due to human activities, primarily fossil fuels burning in the air, um, which increases heat, trapping greenhouse gas levels in the Earth's atmosphere. Um, so global warming is caused by human activities threatening the way we live and the future of our planet, meaning we're technically kind of killing our planet in a way. Um, by addressing climate change, we can build a sustainable world for everyone and make the world last a lot longer and make humans a lot more healthy and make the animals a lot more healthy in the process instead of just filling our you know, atmosphere with CO2 and all that stuff. Um, how is everyone being affected by global warming? Um, there is a severe weather and ri rising sea levels um, that's affecting people in developed and undeveloped countries. There, it's affecting their properties with rising sea levels for people who live on the coast, which is terrible. Um, global warming can also increase the risk of sickness and death from extreme heat and poor air quality. Um, climate change will most likely increase the frequency and strength of extreme events, such as floods, droughts, and storms that threaten human health and safety, and also animals' health and safety. Um, there was a picture going around that I'll link below of factories in China and how during the pandemic, um, when all those factories were shut down, the air quality in China increased tremendously. It was taken from space, which was super interesting. I'll put that down below for you guys to see. Um, there's many things that we can do to, you know, help the world stay healthy or try to get it back to what it was. Um, I'll read about 10 different things that we could do to reduce the CO2 that is let into the atmosphere. So the first thing you can do is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Um, by, re choose, by choosing reusable products instead of disposals, which is using things you can use multiple times or, you know, for the rest of your life. Buy products with minimal packaging, recycle, recycle paper, plastic, newspaper, glass, and aluminum cans. Recycling is the number one thing you can do. Instead of just throwing cans in the recycling bin, make sure you're putting them in the correct one so they can be taken you know, to the recycling compound and reused for something else. Um, by recycling half of your household waste, you save about 1,088 kilograms of carbon dioxide per year, which is a lot. So that's a lot of carbon dioxide not going into the atmosphere and not causing global warming. Um, the second thing you can do to reduce global warming would be use less heat and air conditioning. Um, add insulation to your walls and attic. It, in your attic. It can lower your heat costs more than 25% by reducing the amount of energy you need to heat and cool your home. Turn down the heat while you're sleeping at night because obviously you don't need it if you're under the blankets. <laughs> um, turn off your heat and air conditioning during the day when you're not home, when you're at work, and keep the temperatures moderate at all times. Um, setting your thermostat just two degrees higher or lower in the winter or higher in the summer could have could save about 907 kilograms of carbon dioxide per year um, the third thing you can do is change your light bulbs replace regular light bulbs with compact fluorescent light bulbs 
Um, they last about 10 times longer and they use two-thirds less energy and give off about 70% less heat, which is a lot less carbon dioxide going into the air and the atmosphere. Um, the fourth thing you can do is drive less and live smarter. Or, I'm sorry, drive less and drive smarter. Um, walk and ride your bike more and check out options for carpooling to work or school. When you drive, make sure your car is running efficiently. For example, keep your tires properly inflated and improve your patrol mileage by can in, can improve your patrol mileage by more than three percent. Meaning, let's say you have a low tire or something like that, it's gonna take a lot more gas to push your car because you need more, you know, air in your tires to make sure your car is gonna be able to move as it should which could be a lot more going into the atmosphere gas wise um use less hot water uh, set your water heater at a lower temperature to save energy and buy low flow shower heads to save more water um, this could save about 350 pounds of carbon dioxide yearly and then wash your clothes in warm or cold water to reduce your use of water and energy required to produce it. So every time you take a shower, it takes energy to produce that. So if you use a lot less hot water, then it would be a lot better for the um, atmosphere. And then, of course, use the off switch for everything. Make sure you're turning, you know, your TVs off, you know, you're unplugging things. Um, don't leave things streaming, you know, in your house if it's not needed. It's just using energy a lot more than it should be, especially if you're not using it yourself. Um, the next thing you could do is plant plants. That's so important. Plant trees because they, base, they during photosynthesis, which is the process of carbon dioxide being soaked up in the plant, um, they absorb, you know, carbon dioxide and they produce energy instead. Um, a single tree will absorb approximately one ton of carbon dioxide during its lifetime, which could be a lot for... So if everybody planted one tree in the world, it would be, you know, 7.5 trillion tons, uh, or I'm sorry, billion tons of um, carbon dioxide being removed from the planet. Keep an eye on your local beach is another one. If you're res It's your responsibility to look out for your local spot. Keep an eye on changes, pick up litter, um, to increase the ocean environment, which is also something that is at stake here. And then encourage others to conserve. Share information about recycling and energy conservation with your friends, neighbors, and coworkers. Um, you know, it's... It's not like you have to live every day worrying about, you know, is this going to be helpful to the planet? It's more like doing things, you know, out of thought and being like, okay, let me buy, you know, this reusable water bottle or let me go plant one tree. So there's many things that you can do out of your day, just little things that would totally help, you know, reduce waste, reduce electricity used. So the planet can, you know, you're you're doing your small part, which is great. And if everybody starts doing their small part, it would be great for the planet and great, you know, for cl climate change and all that stuff. So thank you. I hope you learned something like I did. Have a great day.